Good evening, Graham here uh, for this Maundy Thursday time of prayer. Now, we're not going to be doing a normal night prayer tonight on a video. Please feel free to go to our website and do that uh, there without a video. All the resources you need are there. Uh, but I thought we'd do something slightly different today. For On Maundy Thursday, we remember a number of things. We remember uh, Jesus giving a commandment to his uh, followers to love each other as he had loved them. We remember him taking the place of a servant and washing his disciples' feet. Uh, to show that we are to serve each other and the world around us. But we also remember uh, him taking bread and wine uh, and doing what we now class as the beginning of Holy Communion, uh, what we do every Sunday when we can meet in our churches. Uh, now, obviously, we can't meet right now to do communion. So this is a small service of something called spiritual communion, uh, which is a way of just coming before God uh, without any bread or any wine, uh, but claiming those promises that he gave uh, and saying that we want to be fed by his promised Holy Spirit. So we'll have just one reading tonight and that'll be a part of 1 Corinthians that talks about uh, the foundation of communion and what happened uh, on what we call the Last Supper. So I'm going to take a moment or two of silence and then we'll begin. The Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from new, no, whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts, thy be by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now our reading from 1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Now, we are going to say the Lord's Prayer, and then there are a few points of this prayer going forward. So after the Lord's Prayer, uh, we'll have an act of contrition, which is a chance to say uh, how much we love Jesus, but also to repent, to say sorry for those things that we've got wrong. Uh, and then we're going to have a, a time, what we call spiritual reception, uh, where we ask God uh, to unite us with his people around the world. And in fact, uh, not just that, uh, but to unite us with him. And then we'll say our final prayers and blessing. But first, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things, and I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me what you will. O loving God, in union with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries, gathered to make Eucharist, hearing your holy word and receiving the precious body and blood of your dear Son. I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I am exiled from tasting the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptised and with your Son who gave his life for us. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in me, and send your Holy Spirit that I may be filled with your presence. 
Jesus, as the hem of your garment touched in faith, healed the woman who could not touch your body. So may the soul of your servant be healed, for though I cannot receive you in the sacrament, I can, through this offering of my prayer, receive you in my heart. Grant this for Christ's sake. Amen. O Lord and Heavenly Father, we, your humble servants, entirely desire your fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching you to grant that by the merits and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all your whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all of the benefits of his passion. Amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. <laughs>